the harsh truth about Caitlin Clark. Let's see what my guy Jimmy has to say here. This should be very interesting. Y'all know I do a lot of Caitlin Clark content. This should be very good. Let's see what he has to say, man. Bam. Some athletes are good. Some athletes are great. But very rarely does an athlete make such an impact that they begin to transcend their sport. You know, those times where an athlete is creating so much buzz that like people who going. don't even follow the sport know their name. These athletes exactly. hardly ever come around. But when they do, you know something special is going on. Growing up, I used to skate. Before so, we start, of course, comment. I know Who is the greatest athlete of all time? Regardless of sport. Is it Michael Jordan? Is it Michael Phelps? Serena, Serena Williams? Yeah, let me know. Know who Tony Simone Hawk is. Biles. But my mom also knows who Tony Hawk is. In a sport that tends to only retain Tony the most Hawk, diehard Usain fans, Bolt? Usain Bolt the was so incredible is. that he became a household name. And it also helped that his name sounds like he was destined to be the fastest man <laughs> of all time. Ask That's... the average person to name any golfer and they'll instantly Tiger say Woods? Tiger Woods, followed by no one else. There are very few athletes that reach this <laughs> level of popularity, where they almost single-handedly lift their sport to new heights. And right now, women's basketball is home to an athlete that may just be next in line. I like where this is going, Jimmy! To be one of these transcendent I know he's athletes. going to hate or not. Caitlin Clark has only been in the WNBA for one season, and she is already the face of the league, drawing in yep. more fans, viewers, money than ever before. But it hasn't come without harsh criticism. Some of it targeted at the disproportionate admiration and attention being given to just one player. And some of this criticism claiming she simply isn't nearly as dominant as we are led to believe. A product yeah. of the sports media machine pushing their golden child. Is Caitlin Clark really as good as advertised? Or have her Let's talents out, been Jimmy. overblown for the sake of the WNBA and the future of women's basketball? Good question. And Let's I, I get to it. Personally think Caitlin Clark. This video is about to be lifting fire. up our sport. On April 7th of this year, the women of the NCAA Basketball Championship accomplished something completely unprecedented. Throughout the game, game they lit, drew in the nearly 19 million viewers, a number Ooh. that shattered every NCAA women's record, exceeded the viewership of any men's tournament game over the last half decade, and even surpassed every You know how long a decade is? single NBA Finals game since 2018. The game was a groundbreaking spectacle, with people who had never million. even tuned into a single basketball game in their life turning on the TVs to see who would be crowned champions. The majority of this flocking attributed to one player, Caitlin Clark. Very Her true. unbelievable now, if, range. And if you deny that, yes, there are some fans that were there for South Carolina. But if, if you deny that most of the fans are there for Caitlin Clark, you're insane. I'll put it that way. Record-breaking performances proving to be must-watch TV. The true testament of her greatness and impact. All of the doubt and borderline detest oh, that quickly followed her, her ascent. Some fans and players, both past and present, questioning if her talents would translate to the next level and if the horde of fans she inspired would follow. They well? did. Her WNBA <laughs> debut attracted the most viewers of any WNBA game in the history of ESPN. Indiana's home game oh, attendance crap. jumped from an average of 4,000 fans last season to an average of over 17,000 fans this season. A more than 4,000 to 17,000. And all they did was draft Caleb Clark. 400% increase about in just a single year. Transactions in the Fever's team store jumped over 700%. And WNBA viewership oh. has skyrocketed to levels that even Clark's biggest advocates could not foresee. It's no game four, year's WNBA finals drew in more viewers than any WNBA game over the last two decades, with 728,000 fans tuning in for the game, right living there, up to Asia the hype Wilson's as one of the bump. most anticipated games in the history of the league. This season, there were 22 regular Holy season games that eclipsed nuts. that mark, 21 of them drawing in over and, and, a million- and I will say it's not just Caitlin Clark, but it's a, it, it's a big part of the rookies. Angel Reese, Cameron Brink, Come on, it's, it's a big part of the rookies. Not just Caitlyn. It's majority Caitlyn. I say 85, 90%. There is some... But the other rookies are also bringing the heat, bro. I'll say that Viewers. for sure. Even crazier. Wait till Paige gets there. 18 of those 22 games Last featured pause. Caitlyn. Wait till Juju Watkins gets there. If you don't know her name, Caitlyn Clark watch and out. the Indiana Fever. 
But the most revealing evidence of the now dubbed Caitlin Clark effect is the fact that WNBA viewership has nearly caught up with NBA viewership in 2024. Oh! On ESPN, NBA games averaged 1.56 million viewers this past season. WNBA games averaged 1.2 million viewers. Holy crap! A number that was inconceivable just a couple years ago. I but didn't, Caitlin I, Clark's I didn't know that. popularity has been a point of contention for many fans of the WNBA. Frustrated that in a league that is bursting with talent right now, it's all just being overlooked for the poster child of women's basketball. Do Caitlyn's abilities actually warrant the hype? In just yes. her rookie season, Caitlyn broke over a dozen league and franchise records, including the WNBA's single season assist record. She set the record for the most assists in a single game. She received the most <laughs> all-star votes of any player in WNBA history, set a new wow. league record for double doubles by a guard in a single season, scored the most points of any rookie in league history, and became the first rookie in wow. WNBA history to put up a triple double. Just this past week, it was announced that Caitlyn made first team all WNBA, which makes her the first rookie to make first A team rookie. all league since Candace Parker did it 16 years ago. Turns wow. out those awe-inspiring performances from her days in college did in fact translate to the pros. Because even against the best defense in the world, she is pretty much an offensive cheat code. Throughout her rookie season, with points and assists, Clark generated 45.2% of all points produced by the Indiana Fever. That's insane. Dang near, dang near half the points of the team. Holy Fever. crap. For perspective, she has a larger points offensive load than every single player in the NBA last season outside of Luka Doncic. Whoa. And she's a rookie. But to really understand Caitlyn's unparalleled this is why I love his videos, prowess, bro. He'll bring up here the stats. are the 200 most productive offensive seasons in WNBA history on a scale of points generated per game. And among these seasons, you'll find the greatest players in the league's history. Lisa Leslie, Tamika yep. Catchings, Cheryl Candace Swoops, Parker. Candace Parker, and Angel McCautry have tons of seasons littered throughout this chart. Climb Shout towards the Lisa top Leslie. and you'll find seasons from Asia Wilson and Cynthia Cooper. But with four of the top 10 most productive offensive seasons in WNBA history is Diana Taurasi. Her 2006 wow. campaign being the best She's of nice. them all, producing 33.9 points per game. And then there's Caitlin Clark, who is no! already the most. I did not see this coming, I'm not gonna lie to you. That is crazy. Potent offensive player videos. in the history of the WNBA oh, in her rookie God. season. Women's Hoops has never seen a player like this. Bro. And as absurd as her numbers are, how she puts up these numbers is just as incredible. Here are the players who attempt the longest three-pointers on average in the NBA last season, with Trey Young leading the league with the deepest three-point attempts with an average distance of 27.94 feet, and Damian Lillard and Stephen Curry just a shade closer. Despite it still being worth the same amount of points, the longest shooters in the NBA are stepping four feet outside the three-point line on their attempts. But even amongst the deepest shooters in the world, uh -oh. Caitlin Clark is on her own island. Because throughout the 2024 regular season, her average three-point distance was 28.1 oh, feet, crap. which is not only further than any player in the- that, and, and that is as considering the NBA line too, because this is measured in feet, not how far they are from their own line. This NBA is... and in the WNBA, it is a whopping six feet out from the oh, WNBA three-point line. Has Kayla Clark been worth all the attention and hype that has engulfed her over the last two years? Yeah, I'd say so. She listen, didn't listen. just have a successful rookie season. Hold she on. had one of the best rookie seasons in recent basketball history. And this isn't just to her benefit. Remember, but the remember when the, there was a debate between who's going to win rookie of the year before Angel, between Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark? People were like, uh, there, was, there was a point where ESPN had Angel Reese above Caitlin Clark in terms of rook, ranking the rookies. Yeah, 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 that's no more. She broke all the records, bro. This is, if you doubt that she's the reason for all this attention, you're insane. And I'll say this too. There, yes, she's not the best player in WNBA. She's one of them. I put, she's probably top five in WNBA right now. It's AJ Wilson. But even though she's not the best, people are like, there's other girls that are better. Because of the attention she brings and the way she plays, people like to watch that, them play. People like to watch her play because of the way she plays. It brings more attention to the, to the girls who people think are better. 
It brings more attention to them anyway. Brings more eyes on, a on Angel Reese. Brings more eyes on Angel Wilson. Because Caitlin Clark, people like the way she plays. She has a lot of fans. Benefit so of the way, entire it's, it's a win -win. WNBA. There's because no the seismic hate. boost in the WNBA's popularity this season is not yeah. limited to those turning on the games to see what she'll do next. It can also be found in the fans actually showing up to the games. Looking yep. at a chart of the average attendance of WNBA games since the inception of the league in 1997 will tell you hey, a story 97? of a league that has seen their fair share of good days and bad ones. In 1997, there were only eight WNBA teams, all with really healthy attendance numbers due to the excitement of a new women's league. The league quickly expanded to 16 teams with a handful of teams emerging as fan favorites, like the Washington Mystics, the Phoenix Mercury, and the LA Sparks. But with a massive league expansion came a nearly equal retraction. I love Jimmy Hyrule, Many bro. teams folding along the way, such as the Soul, Fire, Miracle, and Sting. But it wasn't until COVID where the league's once steady fan base was wiped out. In 2020, there were no fans in attendance due to COVID protocols, and yeah. when play resumed in 2021, attendance was at an all-time low. A number that uh. has been quickly rising in the few years since the pandemic, but has specifically seen an explosion this season, where for the first time, attendance was higher than the WNBA's inaugural season. The Indiana Holy Fever crap. seeing the highest attendance numbers in league history. Oh, she's not, she's not the only one bringing attention. She, it's not just all her. It, it, this is why I love Jimmy Hyrule. He literally, he literally put it on a graph for us, bro. Yes, it's Caitlin Clark bringing the attention. This is the most attendance they've had since they were since the they began the WNBA. And even then, her team had higher attendance than everybody else's. Three, nearly selling out every Duh. single home game. In a league where attracting the casual fan has been a seemingly insurmountable task, Caitlin Clark has defied the odds by not only drawing in new fans for her and her team, but rising the tides for the entire league. This is completely unprecedented, Holy at God, least in the WNBA it is. Too. But there was a time when the NBA was facing similar struggles until a yep. pair of players showed up and changed Magic everything. And After Angel the Reese success of Caitlin the Celtics Clark. in the 1960s, the NBA's growth in popularity had come to a grinding Trash. halt in the 70s. The league had a rampant drug problem. An emerging rival league known as the ABA was picking up steam, and the NBA didn't really have a face to propel the league into the next decade. Jerry West was on his ABA. way out. Kareem was incredible, but he didn't really have the personality or charm that fans gravitate towards. Bill Walton's prime was That's cut short due to injuries, and many fans felt Julius Irving's introduction to the league after leaving the ABA in 1976 was a bit short of what was advertised. Many games were lucky to see even half capacity in attendance. Many teams were losing money. The NBA had fallen wow. to a quote, second Isn't tier sport behind the NFL, MLB, and NHL. All of this culminating to the point where some networks infamously had NBA finals games on tape delay in the late 70s due to low ratings. That is insane. NBA Finals games. I love listening to the history. The league was in desperate need of a generational, transcendent superstar. Lucky for them, they got they two. two. Coming off the most popular rivalry in the history of college basketball, Larry Bird and Magic Johnson propelled the league to new heights in the 80s, transforming the NBA from a second-rate league into a behemoth of fire, sports right and entertainment. A tandem that many longtime NBA fans say saved the NBA. Now, this yeah, isn't dude. to say Caitlin is the second coming of two of the greatest, most important figures in the history of basketball, but her impact on the sport at such an early stage in her career has reached a level reminiscent of some of the most influential athletes of all time relative to their sport. Because her popularity hasn't just affected her, it has had a cascading effect on players across the entire the, WNBA. The entire Clark That's has essentially saying. become the gateway to NBA fandom for many people. They come to witness the phenomenon that she is and end up staying once they see just how awesome the league and its players are. And that's the big part. They come for Kaylin Clark, stay for A.J. Wilson, stay for DJ Carrington, who's right here. Like, come on, there's no, there's no. Players around the win -win. league are signing groundbreaking endorsement deals. Teams now have their own planes and new facilities. Many WNBA players have become household names, some of the most recognizable figures in sports today. There is real, genuine discourse about the games and the players right now that exists yep. beyond the diehard fans. Conversations about the WNBA are now no longer about the legitimacy of the league itself, but instead about its players, records being broken, rivalries, the playoffs, title hopes, the draft, and up-and-coming prospects. 
It's understandable that Kaylin's explosion in popularity has caused a lot of tension. Why is she getting all the attention when there's tons of great players around the league doing great things? Because she shoots from 30 feet. The answer to that question? Well, it depends on who you ask. But Fact. there's no denying the widespread impact Clark has made on the league in just a single season. Get, for years, players in the WNBA pushed for people to give their talents and their skills and the product a chance. And in record numbers, people finally are. Now, what it took to get them to tune in may not be the most ideal circumstance, where for many casual fans, one player is overshadowing the vast majority of an entire league, but it's a thousand steps in the right direction. Whether the Caitlin Clark effect will have a lasting impact on the league and retain these new viewers and fans and continue it to draw in will. more in the future is something that only time will tell. But one season in, and she is on a path to being one of the very few truly game-changing athletes of her generation. And yes, Gosh. she's got all the talent to back it up. Yes, she does, Jimmy. Yes, she does, Jimmy. You know what? Standing O, Jimmy. Standing up. This was one of your best videos ever. Listen, if you deny the effect that Caitlin Clark has had on the WNBA, I can't even talk basketball with you. I can't talk sports with you. It's it's it, he put it on he put it on graphs for us, bro. It is that simple. That simple. Now, I I won't say she's the best player in the league because that's AJ Wilson. I think that I think it's a it's a big gap, but she's definitely top three in the league. Top five in the league right now. This is one of the best videos I've ever seen on Caitlin Clark by far. If you, have, if you if you still question her impact, just go ahead and log off. Because you're already lost at this point. After watching that video, if you still question stuff, you're already lost. Shout out Jimmy. Y'all go subscribe, like that video, all that stuff, man. That's all I got for y'all, man. Stay blessed.